welcome Steinway Jazz Cafe folks. We are so happy to be here. I have to tell you, it's, it's wonderful having bodies in this room. I've told you in the past that uh, prior to having a live audience, this looked like a gym room floor in here. It was just full of nonsense, things that were completely not musical. But things that are completely musical are on the stage with me today. Put your hands together for, for the great Sean Dobbins <laughs> on drums. And the great Rodney Whitaker on bass. My name is Cliff Monier, and we are going to have some fun together. Thank you.
So good to be here with you. How y'all doing? And uh, this is indeed, you know, I'm not really particularly fond of playing in a trio, except for when I'm playing with Sean and Cliff. Because I'm serious. This is uh, by far my favorite trio to play with because everybody interacts and listens and, and, uh, and it's a mutual admiration society in this group, so, so I think we all love. So we gotta make this a more permanent thing when we start doing more things together. We, hey, <laughs> yeah, once every other day, I like that. But we, we'll, we'll figure out, you'll all be hearing from us. We'll, we might put out a CD and, and do all that fun stuff, so, yeah. Uh, if I can afford them, I should say. <laughs> they were expensive, both of them. Before noon, we're free. <laughs> <laughs> that first tune was called, If I Should Lose You. Beautiful, beautiful tune. What are we gonna continue with? That's a good one. That sounds good, we're gonna do this one.
Thank you. Well, as you might imagine, we have nothing prepared. We're just sort of serving it up as we see it. And uh, it's such a pleasure playing with these guys. You know, I want to introduce you to a fourth member of our band. This, this is a wonderful instrument. Mm. It's a Steinway Concert Grand, and I just can't sound bad on it. It's just a terrific piano. And uh, this is called a Steinway Model D, and it has a special designation called Spirio. So uh, in the Spirio world, I could play this for a minute and get up and leave. And perhaps I should do that sometime. And it will play while well, these gentlemen play along. It's a, it's a spectacular technology to be visited in the future for sure. May I be introduced to your bass? Does it have a name? It does not have a name, but it's a, it's a, a bass made in Czechoslovakia in 1930 called a Juzak. And, it, and it, this particular one is a 7-8 size, but it looks small because I, I actually, actually, my wife actually bought me the best Christmas present this year. So she bought me this ring. She, she, her name is Big Money, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, and she uh, actually bought me this base and restored it. And it was a little bit bigger, and it, but it had some damage, so they shaved it down. So it's not quite like as big as, as the other one that I played, but it's the same, same name as the other one. Beautiful, beautiful. We'll, interge we'll uh, introduce ourselves to the Yamaha set on the next break. How's that? <laughs> and we love Sean Dobbins and the drums he plays. He make anything sound good, that's for sure. Take all those drums away and he'll grab some chairs and, and just make them sound awesome, awesome. <laughs> In 1975, I was in Boston and I had just arrived there and I went to see this guy that I had only heard about at that time at, play, at a place called Jazz Workshop down in the basement of one of the buildings on uh, Mass Avenue. No, 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 Boylston Street. And uh, down, the, down the street from where I went to school. And I walked in and I was introduced to this song by Grover Washington Jr. So do we. And I have to tell you, the sound, that <coughs> sound who, who, that we've come, become used to in these recent years was brand new at that time. So as you might imagine, I went nuts hearing that for the first time and went and bought every record I could carry home. And uh, this is one of the signature tunes called Mr. Magic.
anthropology. I have to tell you, it's never a dull moment up here. Kathy, if you get a minute, will you turn that air conditioner on? It seems a little... Just turn it down to 30. No, 72. <laughs> 72 will be just fine. Just fine. How about that tune you mentioned earlier? Um, polka dots and moonbeams. See, you just witnessed what happens to musicians. We know lots of tunes, but the names, the names, and those names, you'll know this song, polka dots and moonbeams.
have shared this information with Sean, but he played a very uh, uh, fitting tune on my behalf. That actually the little tag at the end right there. For the first time in my life, I downloaded the app to bet on a horse race, <laughs> and it was, it was, uh, you know what it was. And um, so I thought I would bet five horses. I took you know, the obvious winners, and I took sort of the medium odd ones, not the long shots, but the medium odd. There were only 10 horses in this race, <laughs> and I bet on five of them. So someone was trying to teach me a lesson because not the, the other five won. It was, <laughs> I should have stayed out of it. And uh, it was the quickest $100 that I've ever lost. It took about a minute and a half to lose it. and. Um, so I think I've learned my lesson, of course, until uh, June 5th. And then we're going to try it one more time to try to recover what we, what we might have lost and uh, realize the winnings that I thought I might have had. <laughs> we're going to play a couple more songs. Um, I'd like to play this tune, the theme from The Man and the Woman. This is a tune that, that we, well, certainly I grew up listening to was a period of time when songs were songs and uh, memorable songs. We'll never forget these pieces. And so we have sort of our little twist on it. I just wrote out a quick chart yesterday and we're gonna try to read these little dots on the page and, and see if we can stay together on it. If not, we'll abandon ship and play it as we know it. <laughs> and, um, or we might, as we might have heard it, correct? All right, so if you see us squinting, there's a reason why. A theme from a man and a woman.
Well, it's that time. You know that time when we have to say goodbye? We, we, we uh, won't do the Carol Burnett song, but what we will play is another song for you. But first, I would like to acknowledge and thank the people behind the scenes here. That would be you and you, the people that are watching right now. It's a blessing having you here, and it's a blessing having you watching, all of you that are watching the stream and will watch the stream. Put your hands together for Tim Hoy, operating our cam cameras. And of course, Tim is the guy that allows us to be here and have these events, and he's a real music enthusiast, and anything I want to do, I just has to have to wink, and he goes like this, and it's always good, and it always works. Kathy's operating the live stream, the computer. <laughs> My friend Yuta Sagano, wonderful classical pianist. He's leaving for Japan next Monday. He'll be gone for about three or four weeks. Can I go? Uh, yes, you may. <laughs> uh, there's room in the cargo, and uh, he's going to be performing there. And as many of you may know, he does, he uh, spearheads and, and directs the essential repertoire series that we have here. And he's an outstanding per, uh, pianist and an equally outstanding personality. He's always there to help and he's just a sm always a smile, always a smile. That's all I can say. Thank you, Yuta. By the way, he's doing the sound, I should mention. He's doing our sound for the live stream. Isn't this guy cool? He just, he just smiling all the time. Sean Dobbins. And I have to say, Sean is a guy that should never wear a mask because he, his expressions are so intense, aren't they? I mean, if he didn't play the drums, you'd hear them through his expressions. That's just awesome. Thank you, Sean Dobbins. <laughs> You know, this guy, everyone knows, he's just a marvelous musician, one of the great players on the planet, a, a bass instrument, and uh, playing on a 1930. Wow, that's like wow. an old bass, isn't it? It's, it's got a lot of uh, memories buried in that bass, I'm sure. Rodney Whitaker. <laughs> and as Rodney mentioned, we. We do a lot of interacting up here, and so, you know, we, we don't play together that often, uh, maybe once or twice a year, perhaps a little more in normal times. And so when you're playing in a setting like this and you're sort of improvising, you're making it up as, as you go, you come to, you know, many, a hundred times in a, within a tune, a decision point, should I do there, should I go there, should I go there? And uh, he makes it really easy for me because I can go there. Thank you, Rodney. Yeah. My name is Cliff Monier. Thank you. Thank you for being here. We have one more song for you. And I mean you. It's for you. Is that song on that? That was better. <laughs> Not the end song. Well, later, man, we gotta get rid of that. That was a good accident. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna put it on? Real good. Wherever y'all want it.
Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. If you think about it, when you get home, jump on your computer, go to Google, and give us a review. We need good reviews. We want good reviews. We have good reviews. We just need more of them. We'll see you next time.